and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. We'll soon have this old house demolished, Wendy. Drop the floorboards in here, Scoop. What do you want done with these roof tiles, Bob? Put them in the skip too, Molly. Oh, oh, these are nice old tiles. They're in very good condition. Yes, so are the floorboards. Nice bit of old oak, that. Thanks, Scoop. We'll drop them off at the recycling centre. Somebody else might be able to use them. Oh, I like the recycling centre. Come on, Molly, let's go. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Right, team. We'd better get on. Oh. Hello, Bob the Builder. Ah, hello, Bob. Mr Bentley here. Can you meet me and Mr Ellis at the museum? It's very important. I'll be right over. Mr Bentley wants to see me, Wendy. Oh, that's all right, Bob. Lofty and I can finish demolishing the rest of the house. Can you clear it? Yes, we can! Oh, yeah, I think so. Ah, good, Bob. Prompt as ever. What can I do for you, Mr Bentley? Mr Ellis would like you to fix up his old annex, Bob. It's part of the museum, but we haven't used it for years. I'd like to hold an exhibition for the local artists. Local artists? I didn't know we had any. Oh, yes. Uh, Mrs Percival's schoolchildren have done some beautiful drawings, and there's Molly's work, too. Come to think of it, Wendy painted a nice picture of her garden the other day. And, uh, <clears throat> oddly enough, I'm just putting the finishing touches to a 100th-scale matchstick model of the Taj Mahal. The problem is, Bob, I need the job done quickly. The roof will need retiling. I'd like the museum and the annex to match up as much as possible, Bob. Can you use old tiles like the one on the museum roof? That shouldn't be a problem, Mr Ellis. Can we have a look inside? Oh, well, these floor timbers will all need replacing. Do you want me to use old floorboards like the ones in the museum? Y yes, Bob. Well, there's plenty to do. I'd better pop over to JJ's and pick up the materials. We'll leave it to you, Bob. OK. See you later. Hello? Hi, Wendy. Mr Bentley's asked me to fix up the museum annex, but there's a lot to do. Well, Lofty and I can help. We've just finished here. Great. Could you get over here and start taking up the floorboards while I go to JJ's? No problem, Bob. What have you got there, Mrs Percival? These are all paintings by the school children, Spud. I'm going to enter them into an exhibition at the museum. Oh, what's an exhibition? It's a show where artists can present their work and the best ones win prizes. Oh, oh, what, what kind of prizes, Mrs Percival? Oh, there'll be all sorts. Books and paints and... What? No big scrummy cake? <laughs> well, there might be a cake too, Spud, but you'll have to paint a picture if you want to win a prize. I'm no good at painting. It doesn't have to be a painting, Spud. You could do a drawing or a sculpture or... What's a sculpture? Look, these are all sculptures. That's a cat. And there's a fish. And then you've got... A giant man! You've just given me a brilliant idea, Mrs Percival! I'm sorry, Bob, but we haven't got any old tiles or floorboards at the moment. Oh, it's a pity I didn't keep the ones we took from the house we demolished this morning. Well, why don't you go to the recycling centre, Bob? Molly and Skip have just left with the stuff. You might catch them. Good idea, JJ. Hi, Molly. What have you got there? Some materials for recycling, Spud. Wow. I, I could use these for my sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were an artist, Spud. I'm not, but I've got to make something for Mr Ellis's exhibition or I won't win a prize. An exhibition? Why don't you make something for it too, Molly? I'd love to, Skip. But I'm too busy. Oh, Molly. Well, I'll try. Uh, can I borrow these, Molly? You can have them, Spud. It's a recycling yard. You can take what you want. Oh, yippee! Look, Skip, these might come in handy. Oh, 
That's the floor up, Lofty. Um, what are we going to do next, Wendy? We'll make a start on the roof while we're waiting for Bob. Right, Travis. Prepare to be amazed by Spud the Sculptor. A sculptor, eh? <laughs> this should be interesting. Now, uh, yes. Well, uh, well, that over there. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, well, not quite what I had in. Yes, and ta-da! What is it, Spud? Can't you tell, Travis? Um, no. I'm making a giant scarecrow! Ow! <laughs> He's a bit wonky, Spud. He's meant to be wonky. This is art, Travis. Oh, right. Sorry I've been so long, Wendy, but I've been trying to find the stuff we took out of the demolished house this morning. Any luck, Bob? Well, I found the tiles. Oh, good. Ah, Bob, how's it going? We're just about to start tiling the roof. Good. Progress. But I haven't been able to get any old floorboards. I might have to use new ones. Oh, dear. Mr Lellis will be disappointed. I'd better go and tell him the bad news right away. Bob, why don't you go over to JJ's and get some new floorboards? Lofty and I will make a start on the roof. Good idea, Wendy. Could you take the rotten floorboards to the dump on your way? Oh, it's still not right! Oh, Spud, what are you doing? I'm making a giant scarecrow for the exhibition, Bob. <laughs> oh, no, that's um, wonderful. No, it's not, Bob. His arms and legs are too long and they keep dropping off. <laughs> See? It's useless. Nice floorboards you're using, Spud. I found them at the recycling centre, Bob. I'll tell you what, Spud. Scoop's got plenty of wood, all different shapes and sizes. We could swap. Oh, perfect. Thanks to Bob and Wendy's hard work, this will be a splendid annex, Mr Ellis. That really is wonderful. You see, my hobby is pressing flowers. Oh, heck! <laughs> oh, yes, yes, very nice, Mrs Percival. Goodness me, Spot! <laughs> He's the best-looking scarecrow in town. After me, of course. Right, everybody. Hold on, Mr Ellis. I'm sorry it's late, but Skip said I had to make something. So, I've made a model of him. <gasps> oh, oh, oh that's fantastic. That's super, super right. oh, thanks, everybody. I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody here for letting us see your fine works of art. Oh, come on, Mr Ellis. Tell us who the winner is. <laughs> Patient Spud, the third prize goes to Mrs Percival's children. Oh, thank you, Mr Mr Ellis. Oh, the children will love these crayons. The second prize goes to Spud for his giant scarecrow. Oh, yippee! One splendid box of oil paints. Oh, paints? I can't eat those. And winner of the exhibition is Molly for her model of Skip. Very well done. Thank you, Mr Ellis. Well done, Molly. That cake looks scrummy. I wish I'd won it. And I wish I'd won those lovely oil paints. Fancy doing a swap? Oh, yes, please, Spud. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> I'm Spud the Sculptor. <laughs> scrummy cake. <laughs> Fancy giving away cake for paints. 